Ultra Video Powder T. Oi. Windows 7 block internet access, allow local access. I ran into a bit of a predicament. What I'm doing is I'm installing separate wireless cards in each computer. I have multiple computers. And so I decided to install separate wireless cards into each computer and then they'll get their separate bandwidth. It it instead of I have a switch too, but it was sharing my internet. But when I live stream on YouTube, it causes problem because I'm sharing the bandwidth. So that's you know basically why. So what what my plan is for now is each computer will have their own separate bandwidth because they'll have a separate Wi-Fi card with just internet. However, I have other computers that I haven't upgraded yet. I haven't installed Wi-Fi cards in each computer. So that's why I have the switch too. That switch is hooked up to a Linux router that routes internet packets so that those machines that don't have their separate wireless cards can gain internet access and they, sh they share the bandwidth. Well, I have a few computers now that have their own separate Wi-Fi card. So they have a wireless card and the, you know, the dedicated wired LAN RJ45 connection. Well, obviously, if you hook up that wired connection to the switch, it's going to have two internet connections. And Windows doesn't like that. I think there's a bridge mode, but I don't even know if that works. But it, you know, it's going to get confused. It's it's not going to know which connection to use to access the internet, and that that's not going to work. So I found that what you can do is that you can disable the internet access on that wired connection by just configuring the IP address manually and this is how you can do it so this is how you can block internet access from your Windows 7 machine I think this will work this should work with Windows XP Vista 8 and 10 it'll block the internet access but it will allow local access because I have a, a file server on my network and I have a you know once in a while a printer a wireless printer and a wireless router but it, but and then I also like to remote desktop into my computers and it's much faster if you try to do it over the internet even <laughs> within within your own computers using like team viewer it's a lot slower it's a lot sluggish compared to the built-in remote desktop so let me quickly show you how to to complete this task then so we'll just transition and you should be able to see it this I'm remoted into this computer using remote desktop the built-in Windows remote desktop to me is one of the best remote desktop pieces of software and when the machine is on your local network it's actually pretty quick but anyways so go down as you can see I have a Wi-Fi connection well if I plug in my if I run a wired cable to the switch you know and hook it up to the wired connection I'm gonna have two internet connections and that that's just gonna cause problems so go into click on this right click down here and then or or go to control panel you can go either here or you can go to control panel and then and then open it up either way then go to network and internet then network and sharing center then as you can see here I have my wireless internet connection that's fine that's what I want it's got its own bandwidth I don't have to worry about it using up other bandwidth valuable bandwidth on a shared you know the the the, the, the switch now look for your local area connection click on that then click on properties then now it depends on your network most networks probably especially home networks you're only going to need to worry about IPv4 if for whatever reason you're using IPv6 then you would go into the properties of IPv6 I don't, I don't even I have it disabled I don't even you know what I'm saying so go into the properties of IPv4 then normally normally your computer is probably set to DHCP well the problem with that it's gonna obtain an IP address but one address that your computer receives when 
you're using DHCP is a gateway and hence the word gateway the gateway is the next router that's available that you know a lot of times not always but a lot of times your default gateway is your internet gateway that's where the internet access comes from well you know what I'm saying but what you can do is you want to set an IP address try to set an IP address yeah you might not have to but you might want to set one that's not part of your DHCP scope but I, w I yeah I don't know if I'd worry about that but so you want to set an IP address on your network so that it can access other machines so make sure you're using an IP address on the same private network if you're using a 192.168.1 network then you're going to use an IP address if you're using like 10.1.1 network you're going to have to set a 10.1.1 IP address this the subnet mask is probably going to be 255.255.255.0 unless for whatever reason you're using a different subnet mask now do not do not set a default gateway because if if I set a default gateway then this connection is going to try to access outside it's going to try to you know it's going to try to go outside this computer to the default gateway my default gateway is where the internet access is so this is what blocks it by you not setting a default gateway it blocks the internet access now this is optional you do not have to set a DNS server the reason why I have mine set to the loopback is because I use this software that's it has its own cache Every, all my computers have a separate piece of software that's a DNS cache if you have your own local private DNS server then you can set this to whatever it is but you do not you do not have to set this just make sure that you do not have a default gateway then you would click OK and then close and then close and then what you can do to test is you would disconnect your internet access and then you can you can reverse it let's say you want to allow internet access on your wired connection because it's more stable it might be faster you know what I'm saying and then but you want to use your wireless device your wireless card you can do this on a laptop too at any computer let's say you want to use your wireless device for a private network just you know printing maybe you have a file server maybe you have a separate you know like a file server for music or videos or whatever or documents or whatever or pictures but you've got two internet connections but you one of them you want to dedicate to the local LAN and this is how you do it so if you want to use your wireless you would do the same thing you would go in here and go into the properties and then you know set a private IP address and blah 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 that's it so whoops I'm getting all confused now Windows 7 block internet access allow local access I think really these instructions will probably most likely work on Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, and 10. Adios.